Oh, back to my regular vlog camera now. That Sony's just too big to carry around. It was cool for that shoot yesterday. Hope you guys enjoyed that. That was really fun. Now we're at the beach. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Our Uber driver almost killed us twice on the way over. Heather's still hot. Still really hot. <laughs> and dark. Kitties. Little orange babies. Hi. No, <laughs> not happening. So, poor donkey. Got attacked by a bobcat and got cut up pretty good. And now, the side of his face doesn't work very well. That's why his ear's not up on that side. Hey, hi. Hey, I'm sorry, big guy. I know that sucks. We gotta find that sucker. We're gonna come out here with thermals and uh, watch for that boy to come back at night and take care of that problem for you there, donkey. Oh man, you got messed up, didn't you? Hey, big guy. Hi, Shari. Hi, honey. How are you? Let's go check on Donkey. Mrs. Donkey? Are you doing better? I just want to touch you. God, you got mauled up bad by that bobcat. Hi. Oh, no. Big kick. So bad. And I was like, there's no way. And so, like, she's supposed to protect her emotions. <laughs> and, like, the doll... Little and cheese dad. Just, like, murdered the Mrs. Willow? Hey. Hey, sweet girl. Is that Evan? Yeah. Can I have that? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes? <laughs> hey, Evan, look what I got. We're here today because it's our last time ever being at the Haunted Astronaut Come Ranch. I'll tell you why we call it that in a minute. We filmed so many videos here and had so many parties here and you know it's been five years of awesomeness in this bunkhouse and the 1200 acres that surround it. This is where we make all of our gun videos. This is where we have all of our range days. Brandon Herrera, his videos for the past three years, two years have been on that range we do the shooting days on. <sighs> Sucks man. But um, the owners finally wanted to sell it and they're selling it to some housing development companies so another 400 fucking California families can move out here. That's great. But let me show you around the house one last time in case you've never seen it before. See, this furniture's been in here since the 60s, if you couldn't tell by how fucking ugly it is. We call it the Haunted Astronaut Cum Ranch because you know astronauts who came here were absolutely balling out on some hookers and stuff. Astronauts Visit Ranch, January 1966. There's pictures like this all over the place. One of three wet bars here. Kitchen. And then let's take a look down here. See, everything's super old, man. Look at this old stereo system that used to go through the house. Look at this guy. It's like it runs a nuclear power plant. And then over here is Zombie Zebra. Very cool. And this is one of the biggest hangouts. You got some booze over here that's been open since the 60s. And on JT's birthday one year, they were drinking sludge out of there. <sighs> oh, man, everyone's going to miss this place. Heather's going to miss it especially because she lived here for a couple weeks. I mean, I think all of us has lived here once, especially if you're moving from out of state. They say, yeah, just go stay at the bunkhouse. <sighs> Let's take one last look at the view. It's the backside of the property. There's some nice bass down there. Oh, they removed the, uh, oh, the gallows is still there where Heather did her witch skit. There's an actual gallows and stockade. I'll show you that in a second. Man, my favorite part about this place was the adaptive archery challenge where Black Rifle would bring out all the uh, athletes missing arms and legs and paralyzed. And we would go around the whole property shooting 3D targets. So much astronaut come on that one. They're just going to tear all this down, man. So much astronaut come on that one too. Oh yeah, I found cold white claws. Very cool. Bro, they wouldn't let you take the flamethrower? Yeah, no. no. I, <laughs> I, keep, I keep trying. He's not going to stop. <laughs> Moving it a couple feet at a time hey. until it's in the truck and you're gone. Yeah. Welcome to the Ricefield, motherfucker. Exactly what I need is enough room there for like three ish metal targets. I drew this guy in like 2019 and then somebody nice. else drew Gurr in his dog suit and then Gurr again and then of course Jack Mandeville. It's definitely Jack, yeah. Definitely. It's a good yeah. self portrait. We're going to head on down to the shooting range for one last time. They said we can have as much steel as we want down there. So that's pretty cool. Steel, steel, steel. They also said we can have any of the archery targets that we want for when they would set up their 3D uh, archery target challenges. So that's cool too. Those things are expensive. Better. We're gonna displace thousands of animals so we can build 300 cookie cutter homes for fucktard Californians who wanna ruin this state that I love so much. 
Yeah, this is where we shot uh, Evil Dice tonight for Halloween a couple years ago, where Heather hit herself in the kneecap with a cudgel. Ready? And action. <laughs> yeah, we get the turkey. He's little. I like the turkey. I like the turkey. Oh, wow, yeah, there's a lot of steel back here. Yeah. Yeah. All of it's fucking brand new. Yeah. I want to grab, I want to grab some. I just don't have anywhere to put it right now, man. Cool. Guys, a turkey and a deer. I think Heather might want the alligator, too. Free Texas star? <laughs> Hell yeah. It's as hot as a star. Nice and warm from the sun. Caleb drinks his milk. <laughs> what sucks about this is we were going to plan on having another range day bigger than the last one in June. And obviously, we can't now. Oh, someone's already grabbed a bunch of the steel out here. The dueling targets, Sasquatch, and another Texas Star are here. You either, yeah, you either have to grab the Sasquatch or the um, flying arrow. Oh, the llama, also. No, there's oh. Oh, it's the llama with the machine gun on it. Dude, they got the Texas Star with the bird on it. <laughs> A wiener. I still got some dildos and butt plugs up in these hills right here that <laughs> that we couldn't find yeah. when we were shooting them out of the can cannon. When I was on one of my uh, treks for dead things, I, I found one. <laughs> Found a giant butt plug. Nice. And then used it. Someone already called that one. <laughs> Wiener. Uh, Caleb took the what? Do you, what was that thing? Flying elk. The flying elk. But we're gonna go ahead and take the power llama. Power llama. Dueling tree with coffee mugs. Two archery targets. Not bad. It was funny when we brought the uh, all the the black cops out here for the <laughs> that thing with, that we did with Ryan Tillman. And they saw this and they're like, what the fuck y'all be doing out here? Oh, okay. oh, the cows shoot it up. Oh, it still works though, the oh, magnet's yeah. still in there. Yeah. It'll still attach. Yeah. Hey, so. <laughs> we'll get more magnets. Yeah, we'll Do you remember when we found psilocybin mushrooms over there? We left them. <coughs> so I was thinking for the bedroom. <laughs> oh my God, you don't see this very often. A bear carrying a bear. It's a bear on bear in the wild. Ah, oh, shit, yeah, suppressor that I forgot about. I don't know which gun this goes on. Does it go on you? Does it go on you? Does it go on you? Oh, that would be kind of dope though. Oh, Brandon needs to suppress a musket pistol. Flintlock pistol, that's what I was looking for. I got a little sun out there at the ranch, hell yeah, brother. I mean, speaking of, do you know what time of year that is, boys? That's right. Desk ball fan time of the year. Well, that was bittersweet. Bitter in a way that that was a really cool area and it was a good place to go shoot and it was a good place to have arranged days and film stuff and we've been hanging out there for years, but sweet in the way it's more motivation for Brandon and I to go get our own ranch and do our own shooting range and you know, possibly put a house up out there and some cabins for the homies to hang out at who come to range day. Well, time to make some main channel content. Gotta get on that sometimes to support, you know, being able to do all this other cool shit. Let's do it. Let's main channel content right now. Probably into this vlog. Love you guys.